Hey, what's up guys? Okay, it's me and I'm here to answer a question that, that quite a few of you have been writing in about and um, and actually it's a, it's a very appropriate question because there seems to be a little bit of confusion out there and it's, it's really regarding the separation between veggies and carbs. Okay, so what, what I do and, and really when it comes to, to creating a program and helping people understand the impact of carbohydrates and vegetables on the body, I actually create a separation. Now, now, especially for those of you who've got the stack system or are following along with Reshape, you'll notice that even in the carbohydrate um, uh, food list of, of acceptable foods, there are some vegetables in there. And so where do we create the distinction? Because if you look at carbs and veggies, well, veggies are carbs. They're, they're both under the classification of complex carbohydrates. However, we separate them uh, based on their impact on your blood sugar levels. So it's really all about the rate at which when we intake them and our stomach breaks them down in this vat of acid and it pushes into the small intestine, it has everything to do with how fast your body can absorb those foods into glucose. And of course, the glucose is blood sugar. So it's really all about that rate. Now, there's a lot of different vegetables that we actually put in the carbohydrate category. Remember, they're all carbs, except some we classify as fibrous vegetables, and then the others are starchy carbohydrates. So I want to talk about several vegetables in particular that we classify as carbohydrates, and it creates a little bit of confusion out there, so hopefully I can clear it all up. Now, uh, carrots, peas, and corn. All of them, they're great, they're great, great, great vegetables. They're real whole foods. They're wonderful for the body. However, because they do have an impact on the body's blood sugar levels, we classify them in the carbohydrate category. And we just do this for the educational aspect of it. So when, when it does call for veggies and it says, okay, look, you can have fibrous vegetables. We like to classify in the fibrous vegetables, those leafy greens or... Uh, different vegetables like onions and peppers and cabbage and, and spinach and uh, arugula and lettuce and all these different incredible fibrous vegetables that actually have very minimal starches or naturally occurring sugars in them. And then, of course, on the other side, we've got our carbohydrates that do have more of an impact, and that's going to be our, our, our carrots, our peas, our corn, and, of course, we've also got root vegetables in there like our sweet potatoes and our potatoes. I mean, there's, there's a ton of different vegetables out there that are classified in the carbs, and then, of course, we've also got those on the fibrous green vegetable side. So, remember, when it comes to your corn and, of course, your carrots... Once again, those they, because they do have an impact on our blood sugar levels, they're going to go in the starchy carbohydrates or the starchy or sugary carbohydrate category. And when it comes to the fibrous green veggies, we're going to leave those as our leafy green veggies or all those other colors of the rainbow that we want to eat uh, in that category. So hopefully that clears things up just a little bit. And guys, keep up the incredible work and best of luck on your weight loss journey. All right, see ya. And keep writing in with your questions reshape the nation at gmail.com. See you guys.